Once again, I'm out there making it another great day, and right behind me is a place called the Amish Country Store. It's in a small little building, almost like an old uh, house, and it's kind of off the beaten path, and we're going to go in here and check this little place out. I, this has been on my list for quite some time, and we're going to go in here and look around and see what all we can find here at the Amish Country Store right here in Largo, Florida. That's coming at you right now. Well, I'm getting ready to walk into the Amish Country Store right here in Largo. Kind of a hidden gem off the beaten path little place. But we're going to go inside and see what we can find here in this general store. They have a deli in here as well and a lot of cool stuff. When I first come in the door, I found my shoe fly pie. And what is shoe fly pie? Well, you'll have to look it up. I'm not going to explain it, but it's good and they have it right here in this case. I may be going home with that. They have a lot of homemade breads here from zucchini bread, carrot bread, banana nut raisin, pineapple bread, peach bread, strawberry bread, and chocolate chip banana bread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Making me hungry. I'll give a little walk through here of this little country store, little Amish country store, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little place, very friendly staff here and the owner is also very friendly and all kinds of sodas and candies and meats. They are restocking their chocolates here at the Amish Country Store and she is stocking the chocolate. This is the place for the chocolate fix right here by the pound. Pecan snapper there. There's a French mince, dark marshmallow, dark, uh, double, double dark silk. Lots of different flavors here. She can come and bag it up. This right here is the soda lover's dream. They have the cheer wine, they have the frosties, they got the knee high, they got the Sioux City, they got the sarsaparilla, they got all of those cane sugar sodas that we love. It's kind of interesting soda here. I've never heard of this one, I don't think. Kickapoo Joy Juice. Uh, it's a citrus flavored thing. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I just found out some interesting information about this A treat. Uh, soda which is made in Allentown Pennsylvania and they discontinued it and it was a public outrage and somebody bought the company and started it back up again so they can still get their a treat and it's made with cane sugar some old-time kitchen cabinets here which is holding pancake mix pretzel mix there's a sweet potato pancake mix mm -mm -mm. I'm getting so hungry they even have a shoe fly pie mix here and a shoe fly cake mix. Oh, I never didn't know they made such a thing. They even have some brooms here and an old stove with a lot of old, old cooking utensils, the old cast iron stuff. Some of it is even for sale here. This does look like an old waffler here, or uh, pancake deal. Uh, for sure. They have a big selection of chips here, all shipped in from Pennsylvania. Uh, brands I have not really heard of, but they do have a big selection of chips and pretzels and stuff. They do have a deli here and they got dinners to go here with sides. They sell the shepherd's pie and meatloaf. Ooh, I've seen some of the pictures of that and it looked pretty darn good. They even have a ham steak and pork loin. They have a full deli here where you can get all kinds of meats and um, they have the brands from up north, up in Pennsylvania, and they make their own ham salad here, tuna salad, and chicken salad, which you can buy by the pound as well. And if you don't want a whole lot of chicken salad or ham salad, they do have the little small containers over here that you can purchase here in their cooler. Well, I've just been wondering this store, finding all kinds of stuff, and here's a some kind of a spread. It's called Orange Pineapple Delight. <laughs> huh. That sounds like a a fruity type sandwich for sure or maybe spread it on a ritz. I'm gonna walk out of here with this big old shepherd's pie and uh, it looks so good online and I can't wait for my lunch. This is gonna be lunch today folks. Freshly made right here at the Amish Country Store in Largo. They even have stuff popping over here off the shelf. Uh, popcorn if you will. Uh, even got the rainbow unique blend here of popcorn. Who doesn't want to see some popcorn pop up in rainbow colors. One of the things that I found 
the hand online was these milk chocolate stars. <laughs> and these look pretty good. Not only do they have the milk chocolate, they have the dark chocolate and mint chocolate. If you're looking for pie filling, this is the place to get it. They have apricot filling, they got the Bavarian cream and the cream cheese filling, they got strawberry and apple pie filling, and ooh, I might make a pie, you never know. Found a brand here called Waswit, and they have the old fashioned mustard chow chow, which is sounding good. But what I think I might get is a jar of this bacon dressing and uh, it's Pennsylvania. I can't even talk. I need hooked on phonics. Pennsylvania Dutch Foods. There I go. I think I'm going to get some of this bacon dressing along with that shepherd's pie and maybe a shoe fly pie to go to. And what Amish store is not complete without some jam, some preserves. They have pear preserves here and they have a brand by Mrs. Miller's, which I have heard of. It's made in uh, Fredericksburg, Ohio. I think it's Fredericksburg. It's up where my aunt used to live when she was living. They have a wide selection of your old time favorites here, candy wise. Uh, how many remember the uh, the uh, sanded uh, drops, the different flavors there. Here's my dad's favorite, favorite, favorite flavor, sassafras. How many remember that flavor? Now, not too many, probably. And speaking of sassafras, my dad used to buy this as Pappy's tea concentrate. But he got the sassafras tea in the green bottle. He bought it all the time. They have a box here a little gift box with the sweet potato pancake mix and the pancake syrup and pumpkin spice and it says New Hope. I wonder if that's Star Wars related. I doubt it but it's an idea. Well they have your syrups back here. They have your baking molasses and they also have Indiana sorghum. It's gold run sorghum and uh, shoot I used to go to the sorghum festival back in Kentucky for years. If you don't know what sorghum is, look it up. And they even have some baskets up here, and yeah, they're the Longenberger baskets. My mom used to collect those, made out of Ohio. They have several Longenberger baskets here for sale, right here at the Amish Country Store. They also have a lot of your old-fashioned Christmas candies here, the thin ribbon candy, which uh, some stores have, but not many. And uh, old, uh, the gummy trees and snowmen. Remember those, and they have the old-fashioned candy that I remember growing up at Christmas. Is this here holiday mix? This uh, old-fashioned holiday mix. My grandmother had that in the bowl, and they even have the Cut Rock Christmas candy, which has little designs on it. It's kind of a hard candy as well. They do have some Christmas candy, and I seen them online. They had these suckers, and they don't have many left. These uh, is what I remember growing up is these here type suckers, the old, uh, the big old suckers like that. Knowing me, I'm always looking for a bargain and I found it right here, reduced for quick sale in this corner and it does look like I see some bonbons down there. It's like, is that bonbons? It does look like those old fashioned bonbons. I might have to check that out. some muffins here maybe a company called Daisy's hey Kathy Kathy Bach you need these in your store at Daisy Country there in Nashville Alma get on the stick even here at the Amish Country Store they do delivery they have free delivery it's not your old Amish buggy it's a golf cart but uh, same idea it's gonna deliver that free to you they have an old scale back here for only $50 you can own you an old old scale 
wonder if it lies. Probably not. It probably tells the truth on that weight. Well, that was fun here at the Amish Country Store right here in Largo. Kind of off the beaten path. Uh, you're not going to find it on one of the main streets. Uh, the link is going to be in the description and they'll have their address. I really enjoyed talking to the owner here and his staff. It was absolutely wonderful. They had so much stuff in this small little shop. They've been here since 1997. And I highly recommend you come down here and check this place out. Um, if you're, you love Amish type food and they have quite a bit that most, everything is just kind of shipped in here, you know, from Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Dutch. Uh, products and uh, they do some things that they make here themselves like the chicken salad and the ham salad and the shepherd's pie I came out of here with a shepherd's pie some sassafras candy and the bacon dressing which I had never seen before but the owner told me that it was very tasty it was very good so he sold me on that and uh, spent a lot of time talking to him after I wrapped up here and I do appreciate him talking to me and letting me come into his business, his local business here, uh, the Amish Country Store right here in Largo, Florida, and it's kind of a little hidden gem, and I highly enjoyed looking around in here, and they have some cool stuff, you, I, I've been here for a couple hours it seems, uh, lots of old type candies and lots of uh, jellies, preserves, and uh, pancake mixes, and just about anything you might want that you would find from years ago, kind of brings back memories. I've seen several things in here that just kind of brought memories back to me and um, my dad and growing up and stuff. Uh, little items that he used to buy like the Pappy's Sassafras Tea. Uh, that caught my eye. Just a lot of good memories and uh, I'll definitely come back. I'm going to come back next time and buy a shoe fly pie. I was going to buy a slice but they, they were sold out of the slices. They didn't have one fresh. So you know, I hop, skip, and a jump for me. I come down here and I get me some shoe fly pie. And I love some good shoe fly pie. I'm going to keep going out there finding these places. And this one, I highly enjoyed looking around here at the Amish Country Store. And uh, you would too. Come check it out. Appreciate all you subscribers out there. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Um, sometimes I get a little lazy and I'm like, I don't feel like going out. And then I finally get up and get out and get moving. And I'm glad I did, and uh, the last couple days I've kind of been hibernating and not doing a whole lot, but you get a little tired sometimes, and sometimes you got to rest. And then I get excited about these little places like this, and I'm like, and then after I get here, and uh, I don't want to leave. <laughs> so, but keep going out there, making it a great day, because you deserve it.